Let's talk about TDD, okay? Understanding TDD. TDD goes by many names. When you hear test-driven development, you also hear test-driven design. And the reason that we say that is because we have this emergent design that happens with, with TDD. Um, yes, test-driven development, test-driven design. Oh, I just said that, with the emergent design. And this, as we saw beforehand with XP, was our test-first uh, test first development. The idea that we are gonna test before we write the code. In fact, we kind of, it, it's natural because we do know what we want in a way. It's like, I need a man in a house, right? Well, we needed something that was a man in a house. We knew we wanted to end up with that. But this is gonna change the way we write things. Did anybody write unit tests? Write unit tests? So it's like having a test for your, for your method, but we're gonna put the test in front. The earlier we test, the better, right? Like if we test, you think about it, if we tested once we launched into production, I mean, well, that's better than not testing at all, but not a whole lot better, right? But we do, you know, we do some testing in production. We want to make sure, smoke testing, make sure it all went up right. So you go, well, what would be better than that? Well, hey, great idea over here. Sorry, what's your name? Ed. Ed. Ed's like, hey, why don't we make a test environment? And we can put the whole thing in test environment, make sure it all works, we'll make it just like production. Make sure it all works before we go to production. It's like, oh, brilliant, Ed. Big promotion for you. That's great. But that's nice. We moved testing back. We moved it earlier. We got great results from that. Because now we're, now we're not getting all those uh, errors out there in public. The clients think we're flawless. You know, they don't know that we find all kinds of stuff internally. But, right? You go, and then, then the great idea over here, you're like, wow. You know what? We moved it back, and it was better. What if we moved it back some more? So we keep moving tests back and back and back until we move tests in front of actual coding. So what is the goal of TDD? Clean code that works. Ron Jeffries. Does anyone know who Ron Jeffries is? Hands up if you've heard of Ron Jeffries. Not enough people know who Ron Jeffries is, right? So um, fantastic guy. Uh, he does a lot of stuff online about, about XP. Um, him and he and Chet Hendrickson are like the best pair of programmers. Uh, Ron, if, if Chet can't make it like to work that day, Chet has to do something else. Usually they meet in a cafe every day to code. If Chet has to do something else, Ron doesn't code. That's how hardcore they are about pair programming. He's like, oh, I'm not going to code alone. <laughs> right? But it, it's amazing. Like, they're such a duo. Um, so it's a predictable way to develop. This is uh, words from, from Kent Beck. It's a predictable way to develop. You know when you are finished without having to worry about a long bug trail. It gives you a chance to learn all the lessons the code has to teach you. If you only slap together the first thing you think of, you never have time to think of a second better thing. This is kind of interesting. Um, when he was uh, writing a, a book, um, a TDD by example, he had one thing that he, he did, uh, I think it's 37, 38 times. And then we do it when he was teaching the class or um, doing talks about it. He would do this one example. When he came to write the book, he got to one point and he went, oh, and a new idea showed up because of the way he TDD'd. Because he went down a different road earlier, it evolved the program in a different way. So even if he'd done it 37 times, the 38th way when he went to write the book, it showed up with a new solution. So this is the cool thing with this emergent design is that you don't have the answer. As brilliant as you are, there's a secret in the code. And what we do is we slowly wean it out of the code. We slowly pull it out. Right, just by little tests, little tests, little tests, and we let this uh, design emerge, and it's really cool, and it'll blow you away the first time it happens. You're like, "Whoa, we can do this now!" And it's not what you thought it was going to be, and that's the cool part. So you got to get over the ego thing. As brilliant as you are, you have to get over the fact that there might be a better way, but you don't know. You may not need to use all those tricks that you know. It improves the lives of the users of your software. Isn't that awesome? That's awesome. Don't you want to do that? It's like Superman does that kind of stuff, right? Improves the lives of people. It lets your teammates count on you and you on them. And it feels good to write it. It really does feel good. One of the reasons it feels good is because I can go home on Friday and I'm not worried. I'm sleeping really well. I have huge confidence. There's no phone call. Because I used to work at places like that where I'd get the phone call at 2 o'clock in the morning. I'd be like, ah, panic, panic. So 